With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, we are given with the question and the question says a rod of mass 0 0.720 kg and 6 cm rest on three parallel rails that are D 12 cm apart. Length of rails is 49 cm, right? And current they are carrying is, and this rod is carrying is 48 amperes, right? Now, a uniform magnetic field is parallel, uh, perpendicular to this rod, right? And that is the magnitude is 0 0.240 tesla, is directly perpendicular to the rods as well as the rails, right? And it starts from the wrist. Rod starts from the wrist. What is the speed of the rod as it leaves the rail? Now, when it leaves the rail, uh, first of all, we'll draw this cross section, right? So there would be a force that is uh, in this direction, that is F, due to magnetic force, right? That is the magnetic force. There would be a frictional force acting here, right? And there would be a rotation with angular acceleration alpha, right? So what? In, finally, there would be acceleration in this direction, right? So magnetic force can be written as I B into B. I current into D into B. So that would be equal to since current is 48 amperes into D. D is 12 centimeter, 12 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 0 0.240 Tesla. So that turns out to be equal to 1.38 Newton approximately, right? This is the force. Now, according to this figure, force minus frictional force, uh, force minus F would be equal to Ma, but there would be a torque acting as it is rotating, right? So that would be F into R, right here F into R would be equal to I into alpha, that would be the torque, right, the torque acting is FR and this is I alpha, and the torque has a formula I alpha, moment of inertia into alpha. So what we can write from here is frictional force to be, alpha can be written as since it is a pure rolling, right, so A by R, so I into A by r into this r, so r square, right? So, what we can write now from this is, we can substitute this value in this given equation, right? So, f would be equal to i a r square plus m a, right? So, from here, acceleration turns out to be f by, we can take i by r square plus m. So, it is i by r square plus m. Right, so that would turn out to be F by for rod the moment of inertia for rod, right? For rod, moment of inertia is mr square by 2. So that would be mr square by 2 plus m by 2 r square, right? We have r square also. So this and this gets cancelled m by 2 plus m. So that is 3m by 2. Right, so 2 will go in the numerator by 3m, 2f by 3m would be the total amount of acceleration, right. What is the mass? Mass is 0 0.720, right. So acceleration can be written as 1.38 approximately divided by the mass is given as to as uh, 0 0.720. So, 2 into, or 3 into 0 0.720. So this approximately turns out to be equal to 1.28 meter per second square. Right? Now, since uh, this is starting from rest, we got the acceleration. Now using Newton's law of motion, right? equation of motion, that is V square equals to U square plus 2AS. Right, what is S? S is L, length of the rails. Right, so V would be equal to root over of 2AS, so 2 into 1.28 into length. 
So what is the length? The length is 49 centimeter. So 0 0.49. So from here it turns out to be equal to 1.12 meter per second. This is the velocity what uh, of the rod, right? So so this is our answer. Right, this is the velocity when it leaves the rails. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.